have one day left until Super Bowl 57, and everyone is putting in their predictions for the big game. Chad Pline joined us live from Glendale, and Chad, we've been listening to a lot of coverage here in the Ozarks. It seems like everyone's got an opinion. Oh, that's right. You know what they say about opinions. Everybody's got them. And, you know, people are talking, oh, it's the defense. No, it's this offensive player that's going to do this. It's the scheme. It's the history of this team. Everybody knows what they're talking about, right? Well, yesterday on Media Row, you have all the radio stations, the streaming websites, and even TV stations that were welcoming former players, former coaches. They were going around station to station doing interviews. And I ran into one man in that room who has a very unique take on Super Bowl 57. Oh, definitely got a game plan, but, uh, you know, Eric Bieniemy, he does something with me and puts it in a cheeseburger in my pocket, and so I open the wrapper right before the game so I know what the first play is going to be. <laughs> Lee Summit's Matt Black spent his day talking about his favorite team impersonating his doppelganger, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid. He's known as almost Andy Reid in Kansas City. A lifelong Chiefs fan, Matt knows how to make people laugh. He even did some goodwill interviews for the Philadelphia stations in town. And Philadelphia, of course, reminds him of a certain sandwich. Of course, I look forward to the challenge of playing, uh, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, you know, I kind of look at it like a, a dilemma between the cheesesteak or Kansas City barbecue. Uh, you know, so I kind of have a good feeling if we execute the plan. Uh, we go with the, the ribs uh, from Joe's, if we go from the burnt ends, uh, from Gates, and if we go with the beans from Sardis, I feel really, really good about this game. He's got it down, doesn't he? That was amazing. Now, Matt Black came all the way down here from Lee Summit without a ticket to the Super Bowl. He's hoping to get in. Maybe he just goes up to the player's entrance and they just uh, kind of take a look at him and let him through. Or Elizabeth, another option, by the way, he's an opera singer in Kansas City. He's a baritone, so maybe he could give him a, a few notes, a few bars of the national anthem, and they'd say, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and let you in on the field, too, because you must be doing the Star Spangled Banner, right? I mean, Pretty funny stuff, though, here down in Arizona. Yeah, it, it sounds like, you know, Chad, I'd like to say that maybe just Arizona has all these characters because of the Super Bowl, but for you, I think you just may be a character magnet because you, you do this too here in the Ozarks. Yeah, I am a magnet for uh, a lot of unique personalities. That's right. I repel the normal people and attract <laughs> everybody with wonderful stories to tell. Absolutely. Well, it's a gift. All right. Thanks so much, Chad.